Hey guys, welcome to the Amen Holism video blog. In today's episode, we are continuing to watch the body to see the brain, and today we are covering balance. Balance is an extremely important sense. It is something that acts below our conscious awareness. It's a very busy system, which is the integration between the information coming from our vestibular system, which is in the cranium right here, the inner ear system firing into the very middle of something called the cerebellum, integrating with the information from our proprioceptive systems and from our visual system. But when we want to look at movement to see how well the balance system is operating, we're gonna take the eyes out of the equation and in the test position we use, we will simply close the eyes. So the Sharp and Romberg's position, the Sharp and Romberg's test, is a balance challenging position which you can utilize to observe how well the vestibular system and the proprioceptive systems are integrating in yourselves and your clients. To assume the Sharp and Romberg's position, you want the heel and toes of the feet in contact and the feet on the same line. It's imagine you're stood on a long straight line on the floor. You can bring the arms up into what we call a zombie position. Sometimes the test is performed with arms crossed on your shoulders. Once you've used your eyes to gain your balance and you feel like you're ready to win this test, you would close the eyes and take them out of the equation. And it's at that point that you may start to feel wobbles, little perturbations, rotations, or even a complete loss of balance to one side. Now that loss of balance can indicate that the extensor muscles possibly aren't firing appropriately, that maybe the inner ear, that vestibular system, possibly isn't firing appropriately into the brain, or indeed maybe there may, it could be simple neuromuscular imbalance, muscle imbalance at the level of the feet, and the ankles and potentially around the spine. Whatever it may be would actually take more assessment to really identify the cause of the problem. We discussed that sort of thing extensively in our certification programs, but as a quick go-to drill, something you can try would be called a canal bounce. Now this is where we would bounce up and down on the spot with our eyes closed and we are rotating the head in such a way that stimulates what may be the weaker side of the vestibular system. Now we have to caveat this with saying, please don't do too many repetitions and it might not be the vestibular system that is the problem in your particular case. But as something to try, what we can do is bounce up and down on the spot, very, very slowly rotate the head away from the side that's the problem. So let's say I lose my balance to the right. We can very, very slowly rotate my head to the left, bounce on the spot and spin it back to center stopping the bouncing straight away. I would repeat that one more time. Rotate slowly away from the problem, that's away from the direction in which you fell, lost your balance, bounce, and spin the head back to neutral. The whole drill should take five to 10 seconds. You could then go ahead and retest your balance and see if there's any improvement. If there is improvement, what's occurred is that for a very short period of time, you've created a short-term neuroplastic change which means that cerebellum on that same side as your problem has just been upregulated and the muscles are firing more appropriately. 